Okay, um, guys, I've just started this already, okay? But sometimes it's it's useful to use a sample space diagram when we're asked for questions, um, I suppose, that might be a little bit tricky to do in our head. So, <clears throat> for instance, let's say I have two dice, and I'm asked, what's the chances of, if I, if I rolled the two dice at the same time, what's the chances of me getting an odd number, okay, or a combined total of an odd number? Like, that's that's a lot of numbers to deal with, okay? So what I can do is I can do a sample space diagram. So these numbers here, the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, these will deal with the first die. And these numbers here will deal with the second die. So let's say I rolled a 1 on this die and a 1 on this die, I would get a 2. If I rolled a 1 on this die and a 1 on this guy, I get a 3. 1 on this die, 3, and this die, I get a 4, etc. So 2 and a 1 will give me a 3. 2 and 2 will give me a 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, uh, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 7, because 6 and 1 is 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and a 12. Now, okay, now, by me doing, or by me drawing that sample space dragon, I can now easily answer questions. So there are 36 boxes, okay, so the total number of outcomes is 36. And again, let's say I was asked the question, what's the chances of rolling an even number? Well, I just count up the even numbers. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay, so eighteen out of thirty-six, which is a half. What if I was asked what's the chances of rolling an eight? Okay, well again we look and we'll see that there's thirty-six in total and there is one two three four five eight so five and eight chance um so again the sample space diagram is um is handy okay also sometimes it's very handy to use a tree diagram now let's just say i got a question um we have a coin, and I toss it three times. What's the chances of getting a head and a head and a head? Or maybe what uh, list all the outcomes? Okay, that might be um, a better, better reason to use the tree diagram is listing outcomes. Okay, well, if this was my first toss, and this is my second, and this is my third, and here is my coin, well, I could toss the coin and I could get a head or I could get tails. And if I got a head the first time and I tossed it again, well I could also get another head or I could get tails. And if I got a tails the first time, well I could get a head or a tails the second time. And likewise, I could get a head or a tails the third time. I could get a head or a tails from this um, if I got a head a tails a head or a head a tails a tails right likewise I can get head and tails here sorry And lastly, I could get a head or a tails here. Okay, so if I was to list out all the outcomes then, well, see, I could get a head, head, head. I could get a head, head, tails. I could get a head, tails, head. Or a head, tails, tails. 
R A T as head head R tails head tails R tails tails head R tails 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 Okay so we've one two three four five six seven eight and that would make sense okay because um, we have a, sorry we have a two choices here multiply by two choices here multiply by two choices here which is eight okay but this this might be helpful to us as well because we might say what's the chances of getting two heads well again we can look here and we can say two heads well we have one two heads there two heads there so with this one with this one two heads there we have that's it. so again three out of eight okay um, so this tree diagram is is useful that way one other way of using the tree diagram and that's if let's say it was a bias coin okay so we have our coin again and this time I'll just do two tosses first toss second toss so the first toss I could get a tails or I could get a head but this time I'm going to say the chances of getting tails is 0 0.4 and the chance of getting ahead is 0 0.6. Okay. Again, we could get a tails or a head, and we could get a tails or a head. And the chance of getting tails, as we said, is 0 0.4. Chance of getting ahead is 0 0.6. Tails, 0 0.4. Head, 0 0.6. Okay. And if I wanted to find out then the probability of getting, let's say, a, a tails and a tails, well, I would say the probability of getting the first tails is 0 0.4. And, should be a multiply, the probability of getting another tails is also 0 0.4. And that will give me 0 0.16. So the chances of getting two tails on this bias kind is 0 0.6 sorry 0 0.16